Okay, let's get stuck in. Okay, open up Xcode. Okay, and create a new Xcode project. And we want a view based application for iPhone again. This is not an iPad application for iPhone. Okay, and we'll call it Edition. Okay, just full screen this and drag this out. Go into classes, open up addition view controller.h. Okay, I'm going to create some IB outlets. IB outlet, this is UI text field, um, and we'll call this number one. We'll just create a second one IB outlet UI text field of the name of number two. So be the two numbers we're adding together. So an IB outlet UI label, and we'll call this answer. Okay. I we'll need an IB action. So we'll write IB action, and we'll call this button. Okay, save this and go into edition view controller.zip. So open the interface builder. Okay, drag these out. If these don't come up, we need uh, the library and the inspector in the tools menu. Okay, gonna need two text fields, just drag those in. Okay, and we'll just have a label in the middle. I'll center this this plus just shows you the two fields you're adding and we'll need the button call this go and we also need a label for the output just empty this drag it out okay now we need to link these up in the files owner okay uh, let's connect answer to the output label. So we answer we displayed your number one to the UI text field for your first number and the same for number two. We'll connect the button to the go button. And this needs to be touch up inside. So okay. Save that. What we can do is load up the main file and select all this. We don't need this by now. Yeah. Okay. We need a few things for this. We need some variables. So we're going to create an integer as a solid number, no decimal places. We'll call that var1. And we'll make that equal to zero. And we'll do the same. Create var2 equal to zero. And we'll create uh, an integer called var answer equal to zero. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to create the IB action for the button. Let's open this up. And in here, we will set var1 to the first label, sorry, UI text field. So, open brackets, open square brackets, sorry, not text in, this would be a number one dot text uh, int value. Close the square brackets and close the brackets. Do the same for there two. Obviously, make it number two. And this will set the variable to the number that is held in the said text field. Okay. Now their answer is equal to var1 plus var2 okay so now they are added but they will not be outputted on the label so we need to do that so answer dot text equals open two sets of square brackets and type ns number 
number with int and then set that to their answer. And we'll close the first set of square brackets and set it to a string value. Close. Okay, and save and build. Okay, just installs. Okay, so let's add two numbers five and seven. Should come out with 12. Perfect. Okay, 88 and 12 should come out with 100. Perfect. Come on, add one, comes out with two. So you get the point. However, if we were to try decimal places, you'll notice that it doesn't actually work. So it just comes out with four. This is because we're using integers. Uh, integers display the whole number. So what it's actually doing is it's rounding to the nearest whole number. So we want to change all of these integers to float values. So I'm just going to find and replace all of the ints with float. You can do this manually or you can do this by clicking Command and F and select Find and Replace. Just missed one here, just type this in. Float. Okay, Command and S. Try building. Oh, sorry, yes, we need to change number with int to number with float. Otherwise, it would still display as an integer. So we'll try two numbers with decimal places. Try three decimal places. 12.941. Okay. So I think you'll find if you check that on the calculator, that would be correct. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe, and we'll have more videos in the future.